I got these D-Drum Red Shot triggers to use with mesh drum heads on acoustic drums. I never intended to use them with regular Mylar drum heads, so I never did. But I can tell you how they worked on the mesh heads, and that is... not great. The problem I had was if I struck the drum head at a consistent velocity, it would register very inconsistent velocities on the drum trigger module. Of course, I checked all the settings in the drum trigger module. The settings weren't the problem. So if you're thinking about getting a set of red shots because you like the price, like I did, or if you already have a set and you're running into the same problems, I'm about to save the day with a quick and inexpensive fix that's going to get these working the way you had hoped. What you'll need are round piezo disc buzzers. I got these online for about 6 US dollars. It's a pack of 20, they're 20 millimeter diameter. We're going to replace the piezo sensors on the red shots with these. First, carefully remove this black spacer with a razor. Use care to do as little damage to the blue foam piece as possible. I didn't reuse the spacer, we'll get back to that later. Now carefully separate the piezo sensor from the foam. It's glued in place so it'll take some of the blue foam with it when removed. But again, just try to do as little damage as possible while breaking the glue that holds this sensor. On the inner side of this blue foam piece, carefully open the seam where the wires are up. Next, unsolder the wires from the sensor. Now, re-solder the wires to the replacement sensor. You'll want to solder both wires to one edge of the piezo disc. This leaves enough slack on the wire to put things back together. Solder the red wire to the middle of the disc, and solder the blue wire to the outer edge of the disc. Add a drop of glue to the soldered side of the disc. Face the soldered side of the sensor toward the foam and feed the wire back into the seam on the side of the foam. You can add a drop of glue to close the seam, or not. Depends on how you want it to look. I have several of these on which I did not feed the wire, and they've been going strong for over a year. Lastly, lightly clamp everything in place and allow time for the glue to fully dry. And there you go. This is the larger bass drum trigger, but you can follow the same process with the smaller snare and tom triggers. I did the snare and tom triggers a while ago, and I remember having to remove this entire blue foam piece, probably because the wires are run through the top. So if you do have to remove that piece, just add a drop of glue between the blue foam and the casing before you clamp it all back together. Now remember, the first thing we did was remove this black spacer. This is an important piece because if you put the piezo sensor directly on your drum head, even the lightest tap of the drum head is going to register as a full strength hit. I didn't reuse the spacer, instead I put two pieces of black electrical tape on the bottom of the sensor. You might need more or less tape depending on your playing style, the heads you're using, or even the thickness of the tape. So just add a layer of tape at a time, and add as much as you need until you get the sensitivity that's right for your playing style. And that's it! They might not look as pretty as they once did, but they sure work a lot better than they once did. So if you're having the same problem with your red shots, or if you're looking for an affordable set of triggers that works reliably, this mod should do the trick. If this helped you, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.